Hello friends. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about rectilinear motion with uniform velocity. This presentation is prepared by Mrs. N. N. Savan, Mr. M. A. Patwardhan and Mr. Y. D. Kute. Our learning objective is to understand what is rectilinear motion with uniform velocity and to apply uniform velocity concept to solve real life problems. So let's see some definition related to motion. Speed, the distance covered by a body in unit interval of time that is in one second is called speed of that body. Then what is uniform speed? If body covers equal distance in equal interval of time, the body is going on with the same speed. Velocity. Velocity is nothing but the displacement of upon time or the displacement covered by a body in unit interval of time that is in one second is called the velocity of that body. Uniform velocity. If body covers equal distance in equal interval of time, the body is said to be going with uniform velocity. The average speed is a scalar quantity that describes the rate of change of the distance of a moving object. So, average speed is given by distance upon time. Average velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. It has magnitude as well as direction and that average velocity is given by change in position divided by time or displacement upon time. Uniform motion is when equal displacement occurs during any successive equal interval of time. Uniform motion is always along a straight line. For example, if you drive your car at perfectly steady speed of 60 km per hour, this means you change your position by 60 km for every time interval of 1 hour. Let's see another example. When a particle covers equal distance in equal interval of time, then it is said to be moving with uniform speed. In given example, motorcyclist travels equal distance that is 5 meter in each second. 5 meter in each second. So, we can say that particle is moving with uniform speed of 5 meter per second. An object's motion is uniform if and only if its position versus time graph is straight line. The average velocity is the slope of the position versus time graph as shown in the graph. The SI unit of velocity is meter per second. So, average velocity is given by delta x upon delta t which is the slope of position versus time graph. As we say that the particle or a body is moving with uniform velocity in case of motion with uniform velocity a equal to 0. So, velocity in this case is given by dx upon dt equal to constant as the particle is moving with the same velocity throughout its journey. So integrating this equation within the limits dx is in integrated within the limits x0 to x and t is integrated within the limit 0 to t we get the equation x equal to x0 plus v into t. This equation is only applicable when the motion is with constant velocity or motion is with uniform velocity. Let's try to solve one numerical on this. A man walks 7 km in 2 hours and 2 km in 1 hour in the same direction. So we are interested to find out average speed of whole journey and average velocity. As shown in the figure you can see the 
man is moving in the same direction from A to C. So to get the average speed, we have the formula distance upon time. Total distance covered by the man to move from A to C in the same direction is 7 km plus 2 km. That is total distance is 9 km. And time taken to cover this 9 km distance is 3 hours. So average speed is given by distance upon time. So that is 9 by 3 given by 3 km per hour. So average speed of a man to cover distance from A to C is 3 km per hour. Second thing is to find out average velocity which is given by the formula displacement upon time. So total displacement again from the figure it is clear that the person or man is moving from A to C in the same direction. So total distance covered is equal to total displacement that is equal to 9 km. And time taken to cover this displacement from A to C is 9 km. Oh, sorry, 3, kilo, uh, 3 hours. So, average velocity is given by displacement upon time. So, that is 3 km per hour. Let's see another example. A man walked from A to F following the route in the grid below in 3 to 5 0 seconds. So, we are interested to again find out average speed, magnitude of displacement, magnitude of average velocity. The person has walked from A to F. So, total distance covered by man to move from A to F is distance, sum of distance A to H, H to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to F. So, that total distance covered is equal to 6.5 km and to total time taken to cover this distance is 3 to 5 0 seconds. Again, the average speed is given by distance upon time. So, here the average speed is given is find out to be 2 meter per second. Second, magnitude of the displacement. So, displacement is nothing but the change in final initial and final position. So, initial position is A and final position is F. So, total displacement is from A to F. So, to get this AF, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So, by using Pythagoras theorem, AF is comes out to be 5 km. So, so, magnitude of displacement is nothing but the 5 km. That is distance from, displacement from A to F. That. Next is to find out average velocity. That is given by total displacement upon time. Our total displacement is from A to F, which we have already found out that is 5 km. So, total displacement is 5 km and time taken to cover this displacement is 3 to 5 0 seconds. So, average speed is given by displacement upon time. So, this, so average velocity comes out to be 1.5 meter per second approx. Thank you. In the next presentations we are going to discuss about the uniform acceleration motion.